I didn't see the door right there. There's a door back here that I opened. But never really... I didn't go in. Oh, it's just a way up here. Well, I already know I'm going to have to deal with a big, heavy boss. So, I'm going to try and get as much shit as I possibly can ammo-wise. Uh, ammo because I'd just rather be prepared than dead. Seriously? Well, I guess I'm going to have to drop something. Drop this shit. If I do play Mankind Divided, I think I might do a a uh, non-lethal run at first. Oh, well, I'll do a lethal run, and then I might come back and do a non-lethal, or maybe just a mix of the two Cause that's, that's kind of like what I do normally it's just really what's convenient to me This is really comfy. I don't know if there's anyone else that likes small, tight places, but I do. I just see it, it kind of comfy, and it's also kind of fun to... to, uh... to... Work with the small space that you have. Well, looky here. We got us a Boy Scout. He must be the one who mucked up my operation at the morgue. Get rid of him, Barry. Oh, that's gonna be a pleasure. Nice, I killed myself. Wow. Well, at least I can skip it.
Wow. Pretty sure I got him. That was pretty easy. Mr. Robot fucker. Don't die on me yet. This Boy Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader. The one who called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA... Gives a rat's ass about some rinky-dink biotech corporation's company secrets. <clears throat> you got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah, like who? Who? Get to Shanghai. Hang shot court gardens. <clears throat> Penthouse. Tell him. <clears throat> Tell him. Tell him Barrett sent you straight to hell! Nice. Jensen, what's going on down there? Those soldiers just sticks out like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> they see you. No, I was flying dark in case it got hot. You alright? I'm fine. Patch me to Sarif. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. The LZ? The Adam LZ. Oh, we're gonna ride in a ugly cream-colored 240Z and have a hot-ass wife. <laughs> it looks like painkillers, but it's a fucking coffee. Which I don't even understand why a coffee is up here. Okay, let me get my pistol. I know I'll be selling a bunch of weapons whenever I get back. It is currently uh, 445 in the morning. After this, I'll probably edit some stuff, edit this out, and, uh, um, uh, cue to render and maybe play some more games. You ready to get out of here, Jensen? Yeah, take us back to Seraph Industries. None too soon, if you ask me. Strap in and hold on! I'm gonna go for a minute. I need to go and use the restroom, so just hold on a second. But that's after I just paused my timer. But after this cutscene and whatnot. I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I'd love to, Francis, but I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out.
Well, we're going to his office. We need everyone on high alert. It's not only the pro who might want to get a tiger, but the ones that get one too. Wait, our office. I thought his it was his office. Right. No one relaxes until Tiger and his entourage are out. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Seraph? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Weird. Getting things done. I think we had a Praxis kit. Yep, we got two. Cool. Um, I don't want to... I want this. I might go to the limb clinic and buy, buy another one. What's this? Use. Know exactly when enemy will drop out of their alarm state and return to a relaxed standing. Okay, what's this? Uh, protect against the effects of concussion grenades. Okay, well I'm gonna go use the restroom, so... Just hold on a second. I'm basically dancing in my seat. I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna play some more. Um, is that the way? Okay, um... Uh, implanted. Uh, what's this? Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, hacking. I could probably go for some hacking, but I'd also like to do this stuff. But I need to get that first, which is dumb. So, yeah. Don't you have some investigating to do? Okay, well, let's go talk to Seraph about that suspicious and fishy activity. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. Um, I'm gonna look up on how to do this, so... Okay. Um... Damn it. Uh... 
conversation answers. Um, I should be. I found one on Steam. Okay. Okay, well that's not it. Guide. There we go. Um. Steam. Um. Is this it? Okay, that's man that's mankind divided. I don't want mankind divided. I've been searching for man I've been searching mankind divided this entire time. There we go. Okay, there we go. Found it. Okay, we don't have to really talk to this guy, so I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Not just yet. You got a lot of balls coming here. After your followers attacked our plant. What makes you think you'd be welcome? They were not my followers, Mr. Jensen. The Humanity Front is a peaceful organization. Radicals have no place in it. Right. Do you know why I formed this organization? Because I saw a technology about to run rampant. You yourself seem to be living proof of it. I'd be dead without these enhancements. I understand that. I also understand that on an individual level, these issues can be complicated. But we must look beyond our personal interests if we are to see mankind survive the next century. We'll survive, all right. With or without your condolences. Fucker. Okay, well, we're going to talk to Mr. Seraph now. Look at his glowing lamp boss we need to talk is something wrong I'm not sure did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me <laughs> what Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack the security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed oh I see Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Um, I have the, a guide on how to complete this. It's just you use refocus the entire time. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But there's something you're not getting here, Adam. Business is war with no clear battleground and no rules to keep our enemies honest. In this company, I'm the commander-in-chief, 
and I have to be ready for anything and I will do anything to ensure that I am. Now I hired you because I needed a general I could trust, one who knows how to obey orders. Boss, I think we're getting sidetracked here. If you want me to win this war for you, I need to know how badly we've been compromised. I need to know what was in that data stream, in case our enemies accessed it. No, Adam. I am not getting sidetracked. Now, I'm trying to give you a message, but apparently you can't take a hint. I'm sorry to have to break this to you, but frankly, there are a lot of things going on in this company that I can't share with you. Things that are above your pay grade. I like to think of us all as a team, but in the end, I decide who gets trusted with what. Now, this is just one of those times when you'll have to do your job regardless. Megan told me you could handle that when she asked me to hire you. Now prove it to me. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. No, Adam. You were discussing it. I just told you it's time to move on. Seriously. The data I streamed is not gonna hurt anyone. It was just some routine background information I needed to get familiar with after a discussion I'd had with Megan one night. It's the kind of stuff I look at all the time and if someone did get a hold of it, they wouldn't know what to do with it. I'm telling you, we're fine. Trust me. I would like nothing better than to trust you with this, boss. But trust is a two-way street, and the way you've handled this entire conversation so far makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? Adam, of course I trust you, son. And it's not that I'm afraid to tell you the truth. It's just that, honestly, I'm afraid you'll take it the wrong way. All right. Look. That was really whiny truth sounding. Truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits, like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look. I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Okay. Um, do I need to go and talk to <clears throat> I'm gonna go <coughs> sorry about that um I'm gonna go and see about the computer and also talk to what's his name see if he has anything to say Where's the stairs? Can I actually get into here? Yeah. That's, oh, this is my office. I knew that. Bathrooms. Nothing. I wonder why there was a Vince in there. <clears throat> uh, I think that's a tech lab. Yep. Uh, 
<clears throat> I guess he's not in here. <laughs> of course. Well, I'm gonna go back on the compu my computer and check it. Okay, well... Athena tells me you spoke to Sarath. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarath spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Oh shit, the elevator's right there. I don't know why I didn't see that. Do I have a side quest now? Like, no. See if I can use this thing. No. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Okay. Sorry about that. I was if it went frozen, then I'm sorry. <clears throat> I was in the uh, Steam Hub thing, scrolling down to where my the Hang Shai Part 1 missions area was. So, yeah. <clears throat> There's three side quests in the Part 1 of Shanghai. Or Hang... However you pronounce that. And then there's like three, four missions in, uh, in the main. So, yeah. I'm gonna go to a dealer. I'm gonna go to a store. Uh, 